Now there's a tremendous amount of work that is going on uh, looking at various biomarkers, um, markers that predict the likelihood of one benefiting from an immunotherapy. The one that is the furthest along is something called tumor mutation burden. If you remember back to biology, um, DNA, which is we refer to as, as, as our genes, DNA makes RNA, which then makes a protein. So um, a mutation at the level of the DNA um, has the potential to make an abnormal protein. And our sense is that, uh, that really the immune system should only be able to react against uh, cells that are displaying these abnormal proteins. And this led to the idea that having a higher number of these mutations is associated with a greater likelihood of benefit from PD-1 or pd one inhibitors when used as a single agent. And the answer is now quite clear. Tumor mutation burden also can predict who is more likely to respond to immunotherapy and uh, who is more likely to have disease uh, controlled with immunotherapy. One way of looking at this is to look at the tumor cells themselves, but our ability to look at uh, results in blood cells actually have, uh, have increased quite a bit. And now there are also tests that are looking to test for the number of mutations, the tumor mutation burden in the blood.